Today I'm going to show you the difference between shadowed and shadowless Pokemon cards. It's a question a lot of people ask. First of all, what is it? When they printed Pokemon, they did shadowless first edition, shadowless, and unlimited. All the same cards. The rarity, obviously shadowless first edition is the most rare, followed by shadowless, and then unlimited. So there is a rarity difference between the cards. So what exactly are you supposed to look for? Right now you're looking at two Onyx, two Bills. One bill is shadowless, one onyx is shadowless. There's a couple small ways to tell and a couple very easy ways to tell. Let's look at the onyx first. If you look at where it says 90 HP, you'll see on the one on the left, it's a lot bold, more of a crisp printing than the one on the right. You can see the same thing on the name onyx, pretty much everywhere on the card, but the hit points is where it really shows. Another huge detail is look at Harden, right to the left, what do you see? It's energy cost. On the one on the left, it's right in the middle. On the one on the right, it's all the way at the top. Well, the card on the right is shadowless. You might have noticed by now, if you look on the right hand side of the card, there's a shadow on the one on the left, no shadow on the one on the right. It's exactly what they mean by shadowless. But the easiest way to tell, look at the bottom. You see the dates you're gonna see an extra 99 printed on a shadowless. Only the shadowless cards will have 99 printed right there. It stops at 98 on the shadow cards. That is by far the easiest way to tell. Now, if you can't see a card up close, then looking at the right hand side of the portrait is the easiest way to visually see it from far away. Let's take a look at the bill on the right. This is not the same card because you'll see that the set numbers are different. Well, an easy way to tell is there are no symbols like this on a shadowless card. The trainers are hard to tell. You can see Bill is a little bit lighter. You can see that maybe the words are a little bit bigger. It's not very easy to tell on the trainers. You got to go to the date. Shadowless will say 99 on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at these four trainers. Two are shadowless, two are not. If you look at the Pokemon trainers, yeah, you can see the text is kind of different, but which one's shadowless, which one isn't? Same thing with the Switch. You can see the text being different, but which one is it? You have to look at the bottoms again, easily. 99, there it is. It says 99, it is shadowless. And again, there's no set symbols anywhere on this, no promos, nothing. If you look at the back of the cards, these are the same cards I just showed you, not really much of a difference. However, there is one example. Let me go back here to the Onyx and the Bill. There's no first editions in any of these. If there's a first edition stamp, it is shadowless with one exception, and that is Machamp. He was printed after the shadowless series, but for some reason ended up getting a first edition stamp on him. So he is worth the least amount. He is not shadowless. That is the only exception, so please bear that in mind. And I'm gonna show you these eight cards. Four of these are shadowless, Four of them are not. I'll give you about 10 seconds to look them over. Go ahead and pause the video if you want, but see if you can pick out the four that are shadowless, the four that are not. I just gave you all the details you need. Even spoke about the champ. You just looked at the onyxes. Take a look and see what differences do you see at these cards to determine is it shadowless, is it not? Now that we're back, obviously, let's look at the Onyx. This one on the top left compared to the one on the bottom right, which one is shadowless? If you again see, bam, there's the shadow on the top left. And you can look at Harden, you can look at the energy cost on it and see, oh, this one's exactly in the middle, but that's not a foolproof way. And it's hard to see that there's no 99 on the top left Onyx. Looking at the Venusaur, there should be a dead giveaway. You can look and say, well, I don't know. I don't have another Venusaur to compare it to, so I can't see if it looks crisper, if it looks better. It's obviously centered energy cost there, but there's a promo symbol. Not going to be shadowless. Again, you can see the shadow. Going over to the Zapdos. All right, let's look this over. Uh, Thunder, Thunderbolt, it looks centered. Everything looks fine, but there's no shadow on the right-hand side. Again, but there is a 99 on the bottom of the card. And moving on, got a dose. Shadowed? Shadowless? Let's see, Dragon Rage looks to be about centered. 
Bubble Beam looks about centered, but there's no shadow again. And again, there's a 99 way down there. And Sabrina's Abra. This one should be a dead giveaway with two symbols sitting on the card. Bam Bam, not shadowless. Venusaur. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Can we compare it to the one above? We could a little bit and see that the 100 hit points does look different. So that is that is a giveaway. But Solar Beam looks to be centered. Nah, no shadow. And it says 1999. Now here's the Machamp. It has the first edition stamp on it. Bam, shadowless, right? No, it is the one exception. It has a shadow on it. So it is not a shadowless card. Again, the Machamp is the absolutely only exception to it. And of course, the Onyx on the right, you already know, that is the shadowless version. So those are the easiest ways to tell what is shadowless and what isn't. Does it make a big deal? Not really, but some shadowless cards do go for a lot more than the unlimited shadowed print run. So if you ever want to know the difference, there you go. Just take a look for, if you can compare cards, look at the hit points. One looks a lot more bold than the other one. Sometimes look with the Onyx, the hard and the energy cost. It's not centered at all. Again, the dead giveaway from a distance, look for the shadow on the right hand side of the card by the portrait. And if you can get up close to the card, if it says 99 on it, it is shadowless. If it does not say 99, it is not shadowless. Thank you for watching. Any questions, let me know below. If you know the answer and why Machamp has a first edition stamp, let me know. I think it's because it was in a, a starter deck, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. I just know it is the exception to the rule. Thank you for watching.